If you are new to this channel and enjoy the content that you see, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to be alerted and notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel, along with following me on these social media platforms to stay connected with me at all times. Also, feel free to check out all of your favorite videos and playlists located down in the description box below. Thank you so much for your continued support. Now let's begin. If you would like to win a replica Infinity Gauntlet, then all you would have to do to enter is like like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment as to what you think the future will be for Marvel after the Avengers 4 movie, and also what your favorite Marvel movie is of all time and why. With the Avengers 4 movie on the horizon, many fans within the Marvel Cinematic Universe are begging the question as to what exactly is going to be the fate of Captain America going forward in the Avengers 4 movie. As joining me here today to discuss the fate of Captain America is my good friend Rose Memes. As Rose, I wanted to more or less get your thoughts as to what you think is going to happen to Captain America in the Avengers 4 movie because there are lots of rumors going around that Chris Evans will not be reprising his role as Captain America which further indicates that his character will be killed off in this movie and with a lot of people having to speculate what this could mean do you think that Captain America is going to play a really crucial role in this movie in being the deciding factor in which takes down Thanos or do you believe that Captain America is simply going to be used as a tool for the Avengers as a whole to collectively take down Thanos together in comparison to him having to do it by himself? Okay, so that's a pretty good question. Uh, I really do want to go with the fact that I really do want to go with the point that Captain America will play a crucial role in taking down Thanos since you did mention that his actor, Chris Evans, is, is not going to be Captain America anymore. His right. contract is up. I do feel like he will play a crucial role, but I feel like with the addition of Captain Marvel, since she will be in the new Avengers 4 movie, I feel like I'm leaning more towards him being more a part of a, the team, a team effort more than him being the main point of taking down Thanos. Now, with this, now with this, this is all I'm thinking. I feel like Captain America will be the one to rally everyone in order to take down Thanos, but I do feel like it's it's more I'm more leaning towards his character not dying, but him being severely injured to the point to the to the point to where he can't be Captain America anymore that's where you would sort of tie into maybe Bucky or Falcon being the new taking up the mantle as the new Captain America. I just I just can't see I just can't see the MCU continuing with Captain without having Captain America in the MCU at all. I don't think that would be the case. I feel like for the for the shock factor, yes, that would be great, but going forward, I don't think that that would be helpful for the MCU in the long run if they do want to get into other characters like galactus and like the celestials that they really do right, want to go right. that route so, so you don't see you don't see uh steve rogers having to be replaced by perhaps falcon or bucky as many people have implied because the comics even though the comics have their own variations as to who do, who plays the role of captain america and whatnot we may not see this happen in the mcu on the big screen because they kind of hinted that they're going to be giving us white wolf in black panther mm -hmm. 2 with you know winter soldier having to be there interacting with of course uh t'challa and we know that falcon is a big big crucial point in the comic variation where he actually takes the role of Captain America after Steve Rogers passes, but more or less, you don't see Captain America perishing in this fight at all, right? I, 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 can't, I can't imagine a point where Thanos permanently puts Captain America down. Like I, like I said before, I feel like it would be it would be beneficiary to the MCU and to the cast in general of the Avengers to have him be severely injured and to have someone like Falcon that be his motivation to take up, to take upon the mantle of Captain America more or less to fill in that role instead of it being just you killing him off and then someone's forced into that role. I've, I found that motivation would be a good, the motivation to replace Captain America because he's injured, I feel like that would be better than just completely killing him off altogether. Something tells me in this movie that we are going to see a major sacrifice, and I think that the person that would be willing to make that sacrifice to me would be Captain America. Even though a lot of the other Avengers members, you know, would go as far as to risk their lives into saving the team, I think that if there's anyone that we can look back in having definitive proof in being the one to risk their lives, it's, it's Captain. So I think that if there's anything that could come about this, I could see Steve Rogers risking his life to save, you know, his team if something were to go down. For example, especially when looking at Tony Stark, right? I, I can see Steve Rogers laying his life on the line for Tony Stark in this movie, especially if something's about to happen to Tony, being that Thanos knows of Tony, which is very mysterious and we are going to talk about in a separate video. 
it's interesting to see how, you know, things could play off with Captain's role, because I think that when looking at who's left with Captain right now, we see that there's a, a very small handful of characters that are left, and I think Captain's been known for being the, not just the, the leadership or like the flagship leader of the team, but someone who's willing to lay their life down. So I think that if things were to reach a critical standpoint to where Thanos still has the upper hand on the Avengers, I could see Steve Rogers doing something in laying down his life, in paving the way further, because like you said, you know, the, with the MCU having to continue without Captain, it's that that's a big focus point, because Captain is what makes up the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or just Marvel as a whole, um, but I think that with with his with his role initially now with Steve Rogers having to you know be a factor having to not be erased from the from the snap of Thanos's gauntlet i think that he is going to play a role to where he may in fact lay down his life for Tony Stark if that were to be the case because it actually rekindles like what happened before in Civil War and the events prior to that but mainly I think with Thanos I, th I still think Thanos you know utterly stomps anyone there but mm -hmm. being that you think that he's going to live on and I think that he might perish in this movie what about Red Skull a lot of us are kind of wondering you know if they're going to, mm -hmm. if they're going to conclude that story with Red Skull like what's your standpoint on Red Skull and do you think that we are going to see Captain America encounter Red Skull again to where they have their conclusive story, or maybe perhaps do you do you think that maybe Red Skull is going to carry on and live on, and then for them not to have like that that you know definitive closure? All right, with well, then actually when I first did when I first saw the Avengers movie uh, 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 with Thanos, and when Red Skull appeared, that caught me completely off guard. I was not expecting Red Skull to be the one who was holding the Soul Stone. Now, what, looking back at the original Captain America Captain America movies. I did, they didn't lay out any hints for for the Red Skull uh, somehow getting a soul stone. They didn't lay out any hints for that. Would I like to see Captain America and Red Skull sort of have their conclusion? Yes. Do I think that it's that it's possible that, that they have enough time to do that? I don't think so. I feel like more or less they might mention Red Skull, uh, Captain America and Red Skull. They might have a little interaction or they might mention him or it might be referenced, but I don't think that they will be a definitive conclusion between Captain America and the Red Skull. I feel like the Red Skull was more or less uh, an Easter egg for something that could possibly happen later in the MCU. Right. I feel like he will play a. I feel like he would. He has the potential to play a bigger role in it later in the MCU. Maybe with the new Captain America. With that theory that someone like Falcon or Bucky could be the new Captain America, maybe they could finish off what Steve Rogers started. But the present Steve Rogers fin finishing their story with that Red, with the present Red Skull, I just can't see a way that they could fit that story, where they could fit that story, where they could conclude that in the time frame that they have with the rest of the movie, where they do have to include Black Panther, Captain Marvel, all of that. They have to finish, they have to conclude all of that. I just don't see there being enough time to finish, like get a good, get a good conclusion off with Captain America and the rest of the I like to see it, yes. Do I think that's possible? Not enough time. That's just more. Not enough time. I, don't, I, don't I mean, that that makes sense. I think you know, especially when looking at back when uh, we first saw the first Captain America movie, um, it was foreshadowed that of course Red Skull was still alive, and seeing him in the Avengers: Infinity War movie was pretty cool. And I think that we are bound to see them interact at some point because if if in fact this is going to be Captain America's last movie, I don't see it to where. Steve Rogers does not encounter Red Skull one more time because mm -hmm. that to me wouldn't make sense especially having their build up and their history dating back all the way to the first movie um and when and when looking at it objectively I think that Captain America does bring a lot to the table even though he's not you know the strongest in terms of power or he doesn't have any special abilities I think that he is definitely the uh leader or the figurehead for that team that you know can bring them hope and I think that that, that can establish further in the team having to get together like you said in taking down Thanos but speaking of Thanos there's been there's been a lot of people speculating and talking about how in the comics we've seen Steve Rogers use the Infinity Gauntlet against mm -hmm. Thanos momentarily mm -hmm. so my next question was going to be do you see Captain America in any way shape or form using the Infinity Gauntlet despite its status of being you know perhaps broken or maybe kind of like misused or like you know not not in its peak as it was in infinity war do you see captain america you know disarming or even having a moment to where he uses the infinity gauntlet in his you know in his favor in reversing the events of what thanos had done or even inflicting damage to thanos as seen in the comics or do you think that the rooster brothers are going to go in a different direction to where we don't see 
him use the Infinity Gauntlet, but something happens to where it's implied that he could use it, being that he is worthy, and we take the story from there. I, okay, in the comics, Captain America has been shown to use the Infinity Gauntlet, and, and like you said before, I don't, I wouldn't see Captain America being able to wield the full power of the Infinity Gauntlet like the way Thanos was. I do feel like there was a little bit of a hint when uh, Thanos did show up on Wakanda, how he was able to hold up the power of the Infinity Gauntlet for a little bit of time. You saw Thanos having a little bit of trouble with, with Cap when he was doing that. I feel like that could be a little bit of a hint. I feel like that's a bit of a stretch on my part. But if you do want to go with the theory that Captain America could use Infinity Gauntlet against Thanos, I feel like that particular scene would probably be the point of the point of reference in order for him to use Infinity Gauntlet. I do feel like he is worthy to use it. Do I think that he will use it? I don't know. I, I could see if the Russo if the Russo brothers could spin it to a point where. Captain Would it be logical America. though? Like, let's say, for example, if, if they disarm Thanos and they know that the Infinity Gauntlet needs to stay away from him, otherwise, of course, Thanos would use that to his advantage. Do you think it would be logical if, if somehow they disarm him for Captain to be the one to lay his life down in using the Infinity Gauntlet in some way, shape, or form in putting an end to this? Or do you see it to where if he does end up dropping it or if something happens to where they get the Infinity Gauntlet away from him, that we don't see anybody else using it aside from just Thanos? I feel like if they were to able if they were able to get it off of him, I feel like Captain America would be the prime uh, subject to use it. I feel like if they were to get rid of Captain America, that would probably be the point at where they would not kill him but severely injure him. Because with the Infinity Gauntlet, we're using all the Infinity Stones, it takes a huge toll on the person's body, mind, soul, everything. That's too much power for one person. I could see Captain America doing it in all of in all of like saying I'm taking on all of, I'm taking on the weight of everybody. Just just stake your hopes on me. I'll get rid of that nose. Do it would be logical for him to do that, uh, but I feel like that would really hurt him. But then that would fit into my theory of him being severely injured to the point where he can't be Captain America anymore. I feel like if that were to be the case. If they, if they were to get it off of Thanos, maybe Captain maybe Captain America doesn't finish off Thanos. Maybe that's why Captain Marvel is there. Maybe she could maybe she could give the finishing blow right, to Thanos right. when they get it off. But now, I, my final question is going to be, what do you think are going to be like the pros and cons for Captain America in this movie? Like, in your opinion, what would you say would be the worst case scenarios and the best case scenarios for the character being used in this movie? The worst case scenario for me would would be for the MCU to completely kill him off. I feel like that would be the absolute worst thing for them to do. You can't have Marvel without Captain America. That You just can't. You just can't get rid of him. The best case scenario, honestly, would be for everything just to be PT, everything to be okay, Every everybody gets out unscathed. That would be for him. But then he ends up retiring as Captain America. I feel like that would be a bittersweet sort of thing. Like, he's like, I, I did, I've done all this. I've been Captain America for so many years. And I feel like that would sort of fit into his real life counterpart, him him leaving off on his own term. He's like, yes, I, I fulfilled my duty. I'm done. There's nothing left. There's nothing left for me to do. Whoever wants to take on the mantle next, here, maybe Bucky or maybe Falcon. Here, you take on the mantle and you become the new Captain America. That, and then that could sort of translate to real life. Chris Evans sort of passes the mantle to whoever would be Captain America next since his contract is up. That would be the best case scenario for him, just to retire and just everything, just it end right there. I definitely think that we are going to be seeing something definitive happen in this movie involving Captain America, and I really do believe that at the end of this movie, we are going to see the last of Steve Rogers, but not the last of the Captain America character. As Rose memes implied, he believes that by killing off Captain America, that would be the worst case scenario. I think they're going to have to pave the way for new heroes down the line, and maybe the takeover and someone else taking the position of Steve Rogers in becoming the new Captain America as the movies progress forward because this is only going to be the beginning of what's to be expected in the future of the MCU. So we want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching guys. Once more, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to punch that subscribe button, turn on all notifications to always be notified whenever a brand new video is posted. Tune back in for more, slap a like down below if you guys are excited for the Avengers 4 movie and we'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day everybody. Peace.